Hello Colin, Joe here. Please excuse me, I have just got out of bed, um, so I'm looking a bit rough, but I've just seen your post on uh, the question you're asking Chris about what equipment you need to record videos and the fact that you want to get videos up on YouTube. So I'm going to make you this really, really quick five minute video just to show you actually how really, really simple this is. Um, so I'm starting with a quick video of me on my Kodak ZI8, which is a really small handheld camera. And in a minute, I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to um, start up the webcam and I'm going to hold my Kodak ZI8 up in front of the webcam so you can see what it is. And then I'm going to show you actually the whole video making on your webcam on your computer. So um, I will uh, download this in a second and I will show you what I'm doing. Okay, see you in a minute. Hello Colin, how are you doing? Right, so... Um, Basically, as I said, I'm making you this quick video just to show you. Here is the camera that I use. This is a Kodak ZI8. Um, and this cost me about 100 quid. And uh, this is all I've used so far to upload all the 30-odd videos that I've now got on my YouTube account. Um, and it's, it's not going to be the best piece of kit out there. There's definitely bigger and better cameras that you can use. But... Um, certainly for videoing and getting a video up on YouTube then it really is all you need um, so and this has got an SD card in it yeah so the actual camera itself doesn't hold very much memory but you stick in a, a card in there and wallop I, I record a lot so many videos on this and um, while we're out and about and then just upload them to the computer when I get home and then this has got a little USB stick in it yeah so all you do is you shove that in the side of the computer and you upload your video that's basically it now what I've got is I've got an external mic oh sorry it's my coffee going over there uh, I've got an external mic I wanted one of those lapel mics but I couldn't find one so this is this will do and that plugs in the side like that and then that means that basically you get much better sound yeah and I've also got a tripod my little tripod that goes in the bottom there Okay, and then you can basically set that up wherever you want. Yeah, on a on a side, on a. I, I sometimes have it on a pile of books, or I have it on a chair, or whatever. And um, it's it's all very technical. It's all high tech, very professional. Um, I place it where I need it, and then I stand behind it, and then I run in front of it to make sure that it's got you know the right thing. And then I stand behind it, and I record a bit, and then I run in front and check that it's uh, in the right position. So it's really high tech and, and professional stuff. Um, so that's basically, that's it. That's my, that's my equipment, this and my PC. Um, and then basically all you do is you plug this into the side of your computer. And I'm going to show you this now, real time. That's going in the side of my computer, okay? And then, please excuse my desktop. Don't even look at my desktop. It's absolutely appalling. And I go into my finder, and there it is, my no name. That's my computer. And I go in here. That's my camera, sorry, not computer. And I go in here, just close down my iPhone. Sorry, my daughter taking photos of me the other day. Um, and we go down here and ba boom, there's the movie. Yeah? Now, I have actually already recorded this once, but Camtasia crashed on me, see? So it's not always plain sailing. So I'm kind of doing this again. So I've already done this, so now I'm kind of showing you the shortcut way. So there's the video. So what I actually did is I put that video over here on my desktop. And that's currently recorded as a .mov, because it's come straight off the thing. And as you can see over here, it's 41 megs in size. Okay? Now, I actually use a piece of kit that I bought called video converter now this cost me I think I can't remember because I bought it a few months ago now but it cost me about twenty dollars I think a one-off payment and I've been using it ever since I'm sure that there are other video converting um, bits of kit out there but I use this so basically all I do is I go in and I add the file so I've, I've already done this but I'll quickly show you what I did so I'd go into the MOV file I'd add that yeah um, and then I might you know trim it or you know do it Hello, Colin, I, I might trim it, I might take off the beginning, I might take off the end, yeah, I might just sort of play around with it a little bit, but the main thing is the settings down here. Now, I know that Chris talks about understanding and implementing and that you really need to understand everything you do, and he's absolutely right, I must say that. However, 
I'm not entirely sure why this works, I just know it does. <laughs> Basically, the resolution I take all the way down to about there, <clears throat> and the bit rate I take down to there, and what that means is that significantly reduces my file size. Yeah, And then I click OK, and then I click Convert, and that's it. And down here you can have all sorts of different, you can have MP4, you can have um, common videos, leave it on common video, you can have MP4, you can have FLVs, um, you know, it really does, it converts it into all sorts of different things, but I always stick to either MP4 or FLV. So I've left it for MP4, you press Convert, yeah, and what you end up with is an mp4 folder here so that one this folder here was 41 megs yeah and now this one if we have a look it's gone into 6 megs for that video 6.8 megs however YouTube you don't have to use a video converter first because on YouTube it does it automatically for you um, now I've already actually uploaded this as I said I'd already done this all once but all you do on YouTube you go into your account which is a completely different video to explain how to set up an account you click upload video okay and then you'd go to the video that you want to upload now originally I started uploading the MOV file um, and because you know that was the whole idea to show you that you don't need to convert it first but that was going to take 25 minutes to upload but it would have worked at the end of 25 minutes your video is on YouTube so I was taking a shortcut and I did actually upload the mp4 one um, and that took about three minutes to upload but as I said you don't need that converting stuff. You can literally upload it directly from <coughs> your camera, take about 20 minutes or so, and bang, your video is live on YouTube. How to create a video for Colin. Hello, Hello Colin, Colin, Joe here. Please excuse me. Now, you can, the quality doesn't look very great at the moment, which I'm quite happy about, actually, because... Um, it's a bit misty, which is which is good, <laughs> as I've just got out of bed. Um, but uh, soon, as as YouTube, it will take a little while, 20 minutes, half an hour or so, and the quality on that will be as right as rain. So that's all good stuff. So um, I don't want to confuse you, but what I'm currently using to now show you how to do this is something called Camtasia, which you've probably heard of. And that's why in the forum, Chris was asking you that question. Did you want to uh, a program where you stand in front of a camera. Let me just eject my camera out so I can... Yeah, did you want a program where you're standing in front of a camera um, and, you know, talking to it, or did you want a program that's on your screen where you're not necessarily being seen, you're just being heard? Although I've got mine set to webcam at the moment so you can actually see me. But I will try a little experiment. I'll see if I can take myself out. I'm quite new to the Mac Camtasia. I was using a PC one before, so I got quite proficient at that. But So I'm going to take myself out of the picture now. So can you hear, still hear me talking but not see me? I don't know. I'm testing it, so hopefully you can. And now I'm back. It's amazing what you can do with these things, isn't it? So <clears throat> I won't confuse you with Camtasia, but that's the basics. That's all you need. A camera, a mic, a tripod, and a PC. The most expensive thing out of all this was the PC you got one of those anyway. Um, so that's literally all I need. So hopefully, oh, this time my Camtasia won't crash and I'll be able to send you this. Thank you for your kind words about my other post and uh, I will speak to you very soon. Cheers, Colin. Bye-bye.